fear. The Lord is the strength of my life, I will not be afraid. When my enemies came against me, they stumbled themselves. Though and holes that come against me, my heart will not see. The war will rise against me. In you I will put my trust. Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. I will not be afraid. I will put my trust in Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. the name of the Lord Jesus. Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. You are my life. There's no mountain. There's no mountain that you cannot clear. Yahweh, 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 Hallelujah. Glory to God. There's no darkness. Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Yes, Lord. Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. I want to welcome you to the refreshing Sister Circle devotion. Yahweh, help me to rejoice. Help me to give God high praises. Join me as I worship God today. Who says Christi being a Christian is boring? Hmm. Join me as I worship God today. It's the best life that you can ever have. Coming into Christ is the best life that you can ever have. Don't let anybody fool you. Don't let anybody tell you. Don't let the enemy tell you that living for Christ is a boring. It is not boring. It is the most fulfilling life that you can live. Praise the Lord. He is so awesome. Just join me this afternoon to worship him, to give him praise, to give him all the adoration. 
to tell him thank you for even bringing you through this past week, for giving him all the glory for who he is, that he changed it not, that he remains the same, that the Bible says that he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Join me today. Give God glory. Give him praise. Give him all the honor because it all belongs to him. There's nothing that we have done off of ourselves. Praise the Lord. And if you don't have anything to give God thankful, um, thanks for today, I'm sure you can find one thing. You are here with me on this broadcast. Just give him praises. Shout where you are. Dance where you are. Exalt him where you are. Praise the Lord. Lift them up high where you are. Praise God. Even if you're outside on this beautiful day today. <laughs> you don't care who's watching you. Shout hallelujah. Shout praise God because you know what God has done for you. You know where God has brought you from. You know the promises of God upon your life. You know what he said concerning you. Praise the Lord. So don't care who's watching. Don't care, you know, you might look as an awkward person. But usually most of the time when you're walking in truth and in righteousness, you will be, you know, you will be um, sectioned out anyhow. So why not, you know, just rejoice, give God praise and all of that. Praise the Lord. As you come on, I'm asking you to share with another sister. I'm asking you to share to your women's group. And if you choose to, share with your uh, on your platform, on your timeline. Give me one moment. Praise the Lord. We give him glory. We give him all the adoration. And I just commit this broadcast into the hands of the Lord right now. Because I see that the Wi-Fi is going, <laughs> is just going up and down. But we praise the name of Jesus today. Praise God. Praise the Lord for who he is. Praise him for who he will always be. Praise the Lord. And I want to welcome you once again. Let me turn this down a little bit. I want to welcome you once again to the refreshing, the sister circle. Ah, daily devotion, I'm going to say. I'm not here every day. But it's a daily devotion. So we just give God all the praise and all the adoration. Um, I hope you all had an awesome week and that you're still holding on to the promises and trusting in the Lord in every area of your life that he will come through for you and that he is coming through for you. Praise God. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. And nothing more. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. As you come on once again, please share, please share, please share to your sisters. Father God, we give you glory and we give you honor today. Father Lord, there is none, no other. We give you high praises today, Father. We worship you today, Father. Abba, who is like unto you? Who can compare to you? We thank you for another time in your presence, Father God, that as the sisters come on, Lord, who is supposed to be on this live broadcast? You will usher them in, Father God. Those who need to hear this word, Father God, because, you know, I've learned over the years in ministry that 
a word that I might have is not for everyone. That the way I minister is not for everyone. That those I'm called to is not for everyone. Lord God, so those who you have ordained for them to hear my voice, bring them into this place today, Father God. If it's one soul, bring that one soul, Father God. If it is a sister in the body of Christ, bring her in, Lord. If it is a sister outside the body of Christ, bring her in, Lord, that they may be encouraged, that they may be empowered through this word that I will be bringing across by the help of Holy Spirit. Lord God, as I say all the time, none of me, but all of you. Let your name be glorified in it all, Lord Jesus. In it all, Jesus Christ, be magnified. Thank you, Lord, for touching hearts today. Thank you, Lord, for dropping golden nuggets today. Thank you, Lord, for opening eyes today. Thank you, Lord, for even healing today. Thank you, Lord, for those who are at a place of decision and they didn't know what to do. We thank you, Father God, for that decision will be made today through your son, Jesus Christ. In his name and his name alone, I pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bless the name of Jesus. As you come on, once again, please share to your sisters. Please share to your sisters group. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. We give God all the glory and all the honor. And um, as I said, I hope we all had an awesome week. In the Lord. A productive week. Um, I know those. Th there are those days that you might be feeling up, you might be feeling down. Um, I know there's a lot of things that are being said within the body of Christ, but I want to say this today: that every day is not the same. Every day, you just remind yourself. And know that, you know what? I'm pushing through in Christ Jesus. So don't feel bad. Don't feel, you know what? I'm supposed to be a Christian and, you know, and I'm not supposed to be enduring certain things. I'm not supposed to be feeling this way. I'm not supposed to. I'm not supposed to. I'm not supposed to. But I'm going to tell you that it is a daily battle. It is a minute by minute warfare with the enemy. It is not an easy road. And I say, you just have to have a made up mind that this is the road that I've taken. And this is the road that I'm going to trod. Because living for the Lord, it is not easy. It is not an easy road. So don't let any man fool you. It is not an easy road, but you have to have a made up mind. Praise the Lord. If you're tuning in, drop a comment. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Bless the name of Jesus. And so, as you can see by what I wrote in the title or... Um, I don't want to call it sermon, but teaching today. <laughs> Who is your foundation built upon? Praise the Lord. Who is your foundation built upon? Thank you, Jesus. Who is your foundation built upon? Oh, Lord, I commit the airwaves to you right now in the name of Jesus. Ah. Uh, my Wi-Fi is just fluctuating. Uh, could you just let me know in the comments if you're there? Let me know in the comments if, you, or if you're hearing me or if I'm freezing or anything like that. I would really appreciate it. Um, 
So in the book of Mark, Mark, Luke, Luke 6, and I want to take it from verse 46. Luke 6, 46, and it reads, And why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not do, and do not the things which I say? Turn this down. Whosoever cometh to me and heareth my sayings and doeth them, I will shew you to whom he is like. He is like a man which built an house and digged deep and laid the foundation on a rock. And when the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently upon that house and could not shake it for it was founded upon a rock. Praise God. So that's King James Version. You know, King James Version, everybody, <laughs> like for me personally, um, I've learned that as you read the King James Version, if at first you did not understand, you will continue to read it, continue to read it, even though you might not be um, collecting, but over time, as you read King James Version, you will start to understand. Praise God. But every time I come on, on these lives or whatever it might be, maybe it might be in the women's group or um, Bible study, what I like to do is read a few, uh, maybe two translations or so, so everybody can understand. Because not everybody gets King James. Praise God. So all you have to do is if you, you know, in the King James, you just read, ask the Holy Spirit, ask Holy Spirit to give you understanding and revelation as you're reading the word. Praise the Lord. And he will definitely do so. Um, so I wanted to read it from the NIV and then one more after that. So it says, why, let me take this up here. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and then do not do what I say? As for everyone who comes to me and hears my words and puts them into practice, I will show you what they are like. Praise God. They are like a man building a house who dug down deep and laid the foundation on rock. When a flood came, the torrent struck that house, but could not shake it because it was well built. But the one who hears my words and does not I don't think I read this one, but the one who hears my word and does not put them into practice is like a man who built a house on the ground without a foundation. The moment the torrent struck that house, it collapsed and, it and its destruction was complete. Praise God. I don't think I read that in the, um, the King James. But that's very um, straightforward. And my question today is, who is your foundation built upon? I'm saying who, because as, um, as I got this word, it was like, what? I figured, okay, what is your foundation built upon? But then Holy Spirit said, no, who is your foundation built upon? Praise the Lord. 
And our foundation could be built upon many things in our lives. It can be built upon family. It can be built upon friends. It can be built upon, you know, co-workers. It could be built upon our own ideology. It can be built upon our own quote unquote religion. Our foundation can also be built on things that we see around us, materialistic things. So we can look at things around us, our house, our car, you know, our money, whatever it might be. And we can put that in the place of our foundation. The scripture says that in Luke 6, 46, it says the wise, the wise built their foundation on the rock. Who is the rock? Jesus Christ is the rock. The wise build their foundation on the rock. For Jesus says, why do you call me Lord? If you're not going to take what I give to you as directions, if you're not going to be obedient to my words, if you're not going to put those words that I've given to you into practice, praise God, in building a firm foundation in him, praise the Lord. Let me turn this around. In building a firm foundation in him, Praise God. Those who take the words of God, those who are obedient to his word, to build that foundation on the rock. When the storms of life come, when the calamities come, when the chaos come, when the things, your plans don't fall into place, when the disappointments come, praise God. When the sickness, illness, and afflictions come, praise the Lord. You are not like the man who was tossed to and fro. Praise God. Because you have a hope in a foundation. Praise the Lord. You have a hope in a foundation that you have created with yourself and the rock, which is Jesus. You have a foundation that you've created in relationship with the rock, which is Jesus Christ. So no matter how much the torrent, the torrent comes, the storms of life come, praise the Lord. Nothing moves you. Praise the Lord. No matter how much the torrential rains come, nothing moves you. No matter how much the violent winds blow, nothing moves you. No matter, praise the Lord, what comes, nothing moves you. Because the scripture says that you have built your foundation on the rock. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Even though the torrential rains, as I said, comes, the torrent comes, the flood comes, praise God that nothing will be able to shake it. 
that the scripture says that, you know, when you pass through the waters, it will not overtake you. Praise the Lord. When you pass through the, 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 the rivers, it will not sweep you away. It will not sweep you away. It will not sweep over you. Praise God. When you walk through the fire, it will not burn you. So these are the torrents of life. These are the storms of life that when you have come to a point that, you know, because I know sometimes probably you've been, you know, following the Lord for, for years and things have not actually gone the way you wanted them to go or you weren't serious enough with Christ and um, you just didn't know like which way to go like you know you 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 were there saying okay maybe I can continue sinning and 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 God he always forgives praise the Lord but so you were dabbling in sin and you were still like in and out, in and out, you know? And you've decided now that you're going to build this relationship with the Lord. Praise God. You decided that now you're going to make him your rock, your foundation. Praise the Lord, because maybe, like I said, you've been through some things in your life. And I'm not saying as you are walking with Christ that you're not going to entail some things. You're not going to go through things. You will go through so many things. You will go through a lot of things. Because God, uh, Jesus has told us that we will have to go through some persecution. And those who didn't like him, would not like you. Praise God. And so, as I said earlier, you have to have a made up mind. Um, I wanted to read the, uh, the message version from this. Oh, give me a second. Let me see where I... I wanted to read the message version. Actually, not the message version, sorry, the Passion Translation. And it says, so don't you follow me? Give me a second. So don't follow me without considering. And this, I, I, I'm sorry to tell you the scripture. I forgot to tell you the scripture. Um... And why I'm reading the scripture is that many times we jump into things. My apologies for that. Many times we jump into things um, without really thinking of what it's going to cost us. Praise God. We jump into relationships. We, we jump into business projects. We jump into collaborations we jump into you know associating ourselves with others in any means or any form of a relationship whether it be business or or um personal and we never consider majority of the time we never consider the cost that if i get into this how is this going to work? That if I get into this, how if this doesn't work? And this that's why I pulled um, Luke 14. Um, because as we walk with Christ, we also have to know that there is going to be a cost. That this journey might very well cost you your life that this journey might very well cost you your your job that this walk will very more more than likely 
cost you your freedom. Praise the Lord. So are you willing to count the cost? Are you willing to give up a whole lot of stuff to follow Christ? And that's why I'm reading from Luke 14. And it says, so don't follow me without considering what it will cost you. For who would construct a house before first sitting down to estimate the cost to complete it? Otherwise, he may lay the foundation and not be able to finish. The neighbors will ridicule him, saying, look at him. He started to build, but couldn't complete it. Praise God. And why I'm reading that is, as I explained before, because those two work together. You've got to count the cost of following Christ. You have to know that there are going to be some repercussion, that there are going to be some people that are like, you know, that are not going to like you, that there are going to be some situations whereby it's going to be tough. It's going to be, you know, rough. But have you decided to follow him? Have you decided to dig your roots deep down in a relationship with Jesus? Praise God. Have you decided? <laughs> There's that song that I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided. To follow Jesus, no turning back, no turning back. The cross before me and the world behind me. The cross before me and the world behind me. The cross before me. And the world behind me, no turning back, no turning back. Praise the Lord. Have you decided to follow Jesus? Have you counted the cost of following Jesus? Praise the Lord. Have you decided to dig your roots deep into a relationship with him? Have you decided to give up this world for him today? Have you decided to forsake in the materialistic things of this world? Or are you focused on those things? Have you put those things in place of Jesus Christ? Have you put money before Jesus? Have you put, you know, materialistic things before the Lord? Because the day that you leave this earth, whether it be by natural causes or whether it be by the coming of the Son of Man, Jesus Christ. None of those things are going with you. Praise God. None of those things will accompany you. The only thing that's accompanying you is your soul. And everything that you have done for the Lord here on earth. Praise God. So, who is your foundation built on?
that's a question I would like to leave with you today. I don't think I'll be here much longer. Um, I brought what I needed to bring across. Who is your foundation built upon? Praise God. And I want to say that a word of encouragement that if you are putting things together or you're doing the work of the Lord. And sometimes things don't seem like they're going the way that they're supposed to go. And you're like, God, I want to come and encourage you today and let you know that all things, not some things, but all things, are working together for your good because you love the Lord. That's not my word, but that's what the Lord has said, that all things work together for your good, for my good, because we love the Lord. Praise God. And keep pushing into that thing. Things will start to either take root Since you've planted that seed, things will take root and start to grow. And you will see the manifestations of those things. For those who are going through a difficult time, anxiety, depression, suicidal thoughts, heavy spirit, that will not have you to move and do what needs to be done. Praise the Lord. That just has put you in a state of stagnancy or put you in a state of um, unproductiveness. I'm, I speak today life over you. I speak today that you will function with a kingdom mindset, that you will function in the things of God, that you will function in the promises of God that you remind yourself that you are a child of the most high God. Praise the Lord. Praise God. And also I wanted to put it out there. I was going to, but for those that watch till the end, um, If there's anyone or any ladies out there within, um, I'm going to say, Brampton, Mississauga, Georgetown, Caledon area, um, and even if you're in Toronto and you want to drive out this way, um, inbox me as I put together um a street evangelism praise the lord so if you're interested please inbox me um message me and i will return your message i will email you back and um just give you a rundown of what the lord laid on my heart Praise the Lord. And um, we bless God for what he's doing and what he's about to do. I'm going to leave it at that for today. And I just want to say, bless you. I want to say that you and your household experience the shalom peace of Jesus Christ upon um, your household. Uh upon your business, upon upon your ministry today, upon everything that you put your hands to, I pray for you that it will be successful and continue to be encouraged in Christ Jesus and empowered by his word. Praise God. Please rise up and empower. Encourage yourself 
and empower yourself through God's word. Don't sit and wait on anyone to come and empower you or to come and encourage you. That can only be done through Jesus Christ. Praise God. So remain blessed. Uh, God is faithful. And remember that you are enameled by his grace and that Jesus Christ, Abba Father, is putting you back together. Every broken piece in your life, he's putting you back together again, my sister, with the golden joinery. Like the Kintsuji, as I always say, be blessed and I'll see you in the next live. Shalom.